Hey everybody, welcome back to the stream. We're back to Anno 1800 to do some pretty chill play playtime here. Going to continue to settle the old world. Now this is not my usual streaming time. I usually stream around 2 to 5 p.m. Pacific. So this is an off stream stream. I'm going back to the game where I first started, which is Anno 1800. Hopefully your day and your week are starting off well wherever you're at. Thank you for joining. Let's get right back into it. And here we are in Porjolie. Oh, those wrong buttons. Here we go. There we go. We have a couple of things planned out here now. We have a ship, I believe. Where is he? Okay, so here we are at the Unsettled Island. This is where we want to start off with. This actually has our hops fertility, but we really want it for the red pepper and for the fur abundance. So if we can go ahead and build the trading post here. So I wasn't quite sure. I forgot how much we needed. We needed money, but we needed 10 lumber and 8 steel. So now we can go ahead and establish that there. So now we can send him back. Send him back here. Come here. There we go. So Portugal is our main capital town, if you would. Too many transporters. So we have things going at a pretty good clip. I think all of our industry is up and running. That's the thing about this game is there's so many different moving parts is that when you step away for a couple of days like I did, sometimes it's hard to get back into it because you don't really know where you're at. So let's take a quick look now at our storage right now. So we're producing enough beer for us. We have more than enough malt, but we don't have any hops. That's coming from our other island. We're importing those hops. We're producing soap to our liking. Same thing with steel. We actually uh, are producing more than we need, so we could probably either, number one, sell that off. We could also make more weapons, but we only have one weapon factory. We're producing the right amount of bread. We're overproducing with grain, but we need some of that grain for malt so we can build or make some beer. So that's actually not that bad. We actually are running a little low on sausage, so we might want to take a look at that. And we're actually running low on work clothes. So let's go ahead and take care of that first. <clears throat> Now, we have a, a little area here set up, so let's go ahead and build a sheep farm here, and let's build another, uh, let's build, uh, build some roads out here, and we could build another work clothes factory. If you take a look at the paper here, we are at plus five, plus five for the happiness, negative 10% for the need consumption. Now, I know there are things you can unlock. We're going to go ahead and publish that. I am not quite, uh, that's one of those things I haven't paid too much attention to. So we'll definitely have to pay more attention to that. Now we're actually short, uh, short with workers. I kind of have a formula here for all this stuff. So we're just going to copy this and paste right here. Now let's take a look. They don't have enough access to the market. Now the market's over here. We can try to build a brick road out to here. Let's see if that works. We're going to have to do that eventually anyway. Let's take the upgrade. Oh, that's not the upgrade button. Hmm. Guess that doesn't quite work. Now, we don't have a lot of brick. Seven and eight. Does that make the market reach? Not quite. Almost, but not quite. It'll do for right now. We also need more fish, so we can build this fishery, which I had kind of planned out here. Build that up. And I think everything's chugging along pretty smoothly here. So let's take a look at our other, other islands. Now there's a couple of things here. I know in terms of influence, here we go. Uh, so these are things that we can do with the paper. We can unlock some of these things. New, uh, so we haven't actually actively looked at this, so I should probably pay more attention to this, to be completely honest. So propaganda is probably the first thing. But let's take a look at our island here. Now we have our ship here. Or I thought we had our ship here. We actually need to build a shipping yard, so... Let's go ahead and do that. That's another one of those things we need to plan for. So a sailing shipyard, we can put that right over here. What is that? Oh, there's people here. What are they doing? We'd understand if 
Oh, I don't remember the task. Ah, a silo and a silo to a warehouse. Okay, so let's build on any pig farm. We actually need to build another pig farm, so that's not a bad reminder here. Let's take this guy right here. So this is going to cost 10 brick. We keep forgetting about that. So can't place that there. We'd be <laughs> building on top of them. So we can move it here to the left. Wait, is that the shipyard? Okay, so the shipyard's already in place. We just don't have it set up. Now, do we have a trade route? I'm pretty sure we have a trade route uh, set up here. There we go. Okay, so we'll have that set up. Right. So let's make sure that it's actually on the trade route. Let's push play on the trade route. And there we go. So let's go back to our other island. Well, we have two new islands here. We have Mayence and Green Isle. Green Isle is what I've called our island with the hops. So we have more than enough workers here. We should be doing something with them. We definitely need um, some hops. No. Sometimes I'm... I need to remind myself about how to use the interface here. So, what do we have going on here on Green Isle? So, we're producing hops, but we need more. Clothes are pretty much at capacity. Same thing with a schnapps production. But we do have a lot of open land here. So, let's go ahead and build another schnapps um, distillery with a potato farm. There we go. And we can build another hops uh, hop farm. These only produce once every 30 a uh, minute and a half. So we need to kind of keep that up. I had worked this out. I forgot exactly how much to get everything running to perfect efficiency, but forgot that, so. They do have a lot of brick though. We could probably uh, shift that back here. We actually are running low on uh, brick here in Port Jolie. What do our, we have the capacity to build one. Now we have a lot of brick though. So the thing is, or we have a lot of clay. I don't think I've optimized this. So clay produces one unit every 30 seconds and the brick factory produces one every minute. So we can actually put another brick factory over here. I guess we'll do that. Let's do that. I think we could fit it over here somewhere right there. And we'll leave another room for uh, for some more distilleries here. So now we're actually taking advantage of that. We're gonna be at 100%. We actually have another brick uh, clay pit and we pro uh, paused production here because we didn't have enough workers at that point. So now we're gonna be producing pretty much to capacity, I'm pretty sure. Yes. So now we're gonna need more sausage. Things are kind of humming along quite nicely here. Now we need to start producing a surplus of beer because we need to start exporting that back to Port Jolie or uh, to Green Isle, but we need brick, which we're waiting on. So that's gonna take some time here. Green Isle can be doing more. What can Green Isle be doing? Well, we have a bunch of sausage and uh, clothes factories here. We're not making any sausage. We have one pig or one, one uh, renewable pig resource, but we don't actually have any slaughterhouses set up. So let's go ahead and build one of the slaughterhouses here. Now we need more workers, so we're gonna have to upgrade some of these guys here, which we have more than enough to do. So let's go ahead and do these guys. A new milestone. Nice. We could probably build another shipyard to be honest. Do we have a depot? We, knew, we do not. So let's set up a depot. This would be good all the way out here. Same thing here. I don't know if our depot's built. It's in blueprint mode. We're missing brick, which we should be catching up on soon. And in the meantime, we can go up to Mayence. I don't like that name too much. Let's say Gapno. Uh, let's say North Cape. Now we can start playing on our island here. 
we actually, I've done this in the past where I've just straight up just copied and pasted. Um, and I'm not averse to doing that. So I think what I'm going to do is do the, just that. I'm going to copy this whole downtown area here. And then go up here. Put that in place. Let's rotate that. We'll have an instant downtown. Perfect. Modulo a couple of the buildings here. So the fire station could probably be moved somewhere else out here to the side. And we've built North Cape. Now, the thing is, is that we don't have any timber that we're actively harvesting. So there's a weird kind of outlet over here. Same thing over here. We probably should just send a ship back and forth with some wood, but it's nice to have some of our own. So we can go ahead and start that. Let's go to our timber production chain. We'll build a lumber, uh, lumberjack hut right over here, and we'll build a road out. Now we need a warehouse, but we don't have any wood. <laughs> so that's the problem. Built all these houses and I forgot. I just wanted it to be in blueprint mode. So that was kind of my bad. We need a sawmill as well. But we do have workers, so that's one thing. This will gradually fill up. Now, the wood is going to be going here and there, but we don't actually have a warehouse, which is a problem. So we'll plan this for here. But I don't even know if we're going to be making enough timber, because right now we don't have a sawmill. Or actually, we do. I'm not sure if this is actually making anything, a bit because we don't have a warehouse. So I'm not sure if it's actually going to start making anything. No warehouse in range, so that's a problem. So we're going to have to send our ship with timber. Now let's have this... Oops, that's not the pause button. Let's have this guy pause. So we're going to have him bring some timber up north. Not 50. We don't need that much. Say 30. This is one of those things I, that I do every so often, and it gets really frustrating because I don't remember what I'm doing. And that is not the right window yet again. Let's come back into the view of North Cape. There we go. And now we have our basic setup here. Now we can start building for the future. We have a copper deposit and a coal deposit. Those are gonna be coming in very handy later on. We have a coal deposit here, a limestone deposit here, another coal deposit, another coal deposit. So this is gonna be our coal, uh, coal, or coal island. But we don't actually have the tech to get any of that now, and we don't have any bricks. So this is one of those things we're going to have to build a route between two of our islands right here. Green Isle, which is producing a bunch of grip, uh, brick. Same thing with Port Jolie. Now we do have enough uh, to build that silo. I know that increases capacity. Let's actually just save up for that sailing shipyard. We do need another ship more than the silo built. Oh no! That's unfortunate. Uh-oh, do we have a fire station out here? I could have sworn I built one. That could be an oversight. No, we do. It's in range, I believe. There it is. Mobilize. There we go. Oh, no. There's a big fire spreading here. Hopefully, they'll be able to contain that soon. Makes me wonder. Okay, police station. We, we're just going to save that brick. We need that brick here. So now we have these two islands. We're going to have to send brick all the way up to the north. Another island here that we can have. This is potato and grain fertility, which is also very helpful. We are going to be settling into Cape Trelawney, which will unload, uh, which will kind of unmask later on. So, of course, getting another island doesn't hurt. Um, same thing with the potato and the grain fertility here. We actually don't have an island with great fertility. There's North Cape. Portially, Portially does have great fertility. Green Isle has niter deposits. So this is a nice island to settle in. This also has another set of niter deposits, potato and hops. But grain is also very helpful because we need a lot of bread. So all that stuff uh, we could be getting from uh, 
Cape Trelawney later on. But this does have a nice copper deposit. It does have a limestone deposit. This has a couple of limestone deposits. That's going to be coming in very handy later on when we need to make concrete. So that's important. This one looks pretty good. This island right here. Maybe we can settle here. It's an interesting island, topography-wise. It has a big, big uh, mountain in the middle and a little bit of elevation on one side and not on the other. So we can try to look towards that. We haven't unlocked the New World quest yet, and we haven't built our shipyard. We're almost there. So we've overcome the fire here in Port Jolie. Can we renovate one of these buildings? Yes. We're almost there. Need to build our sailing shipyard so we can actually build more boats because this is becoming crucial now. We have a couple of quests that we could possibly pick up here. Now we have a lot of brick on a couple of these islands. This island does not have brick or clay. So that's one of those things we're, need to, you know, we're gonna need to send out. Now this one has zinc. I don't know if our main islands have zinc. Port Julie does not, it has copper. Green Isle does have zinc. North Cape has iron, coal, copper, and limestone. So limestone and zinc, if we can get an island that has both, this actually looks like a good deal right here, and it's close by. So that's the other kind of thing that we wanted to keep into account. And this will be kind of like a breadbasket island right here. So maybe this will be a good place to settle, and it's close by. So we'll think about that. Great, now we can build our shipyard. I think we're, we're building that. Now our boat, let's click on the Endeavor. Let's have it unload all that timber, some of that bread. And then we can go ahead and send it on its happy way back to its former trade route. Now we have the timber we need. We can actually build a warehouse. The warehouse we've already planned out. There we go. Now this is going to start in earnest. We can build this pub and then we can build a couple of these houses. Let's make sure they're all connected. It looks, it's deceivingly simple. Sometimes it looks like they're, they're connected when they're not. There we go. Just to make sure. That was probably unnecessary here. Now we do need to build a fishery. So let's kind of hook that around here and we can build a fishery out eh, eh, here. Is this gonna be close enough? I keep forgetting I'm not in blueprint mode right now. I should probably remember that. And it is connected, so perfect. There we go. And let's, let's clean this up just a little bit. Take this out right here. Same thing with these two bits. Perfect. Ugh. Keep, keep trying to do WASD and it's not what I need to do. All right, so North Cape is off and running. Now we need to start building some ships. Let's build a couple of frigates here, or let's build a schooner. Maybe a couple of schooners, there we go. Now we actually need a lot of workers. I'm not sure exactly what happened where now we need all these workers, but we do have the ability to upgrade. No, 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 no. Keep forgetting, don't do that. Okay. Now let's click on the upgrade button. Build up our downtown area here. Now we're starting to run low on both farmers and workers, but hopefully we'll be able to get that all squared away. We could probably build a little bit of a space here. I kind of like this whole setup. Let's copy that. And then flip that on the other side here. There we go. I am not in blueprint mode and I need to remember, get into blueprint mode. Nice little grid pattern here. We could probably build some foliage. Nope, that's not necessary. Here we go. Let's start building a little bit of a city park here just to make things pretty. Quaint Park. Let's build some temperate groves. Let's say maybe right in front of the pub here. There we go. Maybe some poplar groves on the side. I like getting some ornaments in the middle here. So we'll have a nice little esplanade 
kind of going through this area. And this is just because I want it to look better. There's no real... I mean, it does increase the uh, attractiveness of the city, but not by a huge amount. Let's see. Ubisoft Club ornaments, special ornaments. I like building these palatial columns. Again, this is just me thinking it looks neat. There's no... I mean, I'm just throwing... Technically, if you want to look at it that way, throwing money away. But I do like having these green spaces. Get rid of this right here. And then we can build, uh, let's see, agricultural ornaments. Here we go, wooden fence. Okay, so these are more rustic. Some modest park ornaments. I know you can unlock later on. You can have like pathways, so I'm going to wait for those. We have some flower beds here. We'll put those in the middle here. Make that look nice and neat. And we can come up with nice marble pathways on either side of that later on, but I just wanted to make it a little bit prettier. There we go. That's a nice little green space that we have going on here. We have some poplars. We have some flower beds. Now we need more workers. We're at a we're at a good kind of balancing point. There we go. Now we need to start making some more of these these houses out here. Now, do they have everything? They need access to a marketplace. So let's build some roads out. I know we're building out some roads over here to the right. Let's continue to build up here. And then same thing over here. And then see if we can get this out that way missing some brick here so this is going to increase the range of our marketplace by quite a bit we could probably actually move this guy up let's see how about there and that's fine this corner is not getting a hundred percent but they're they're good they're good they're actually they're they're perfect perfect supply so this is like the right space for this marketplace right here now we do need some more uh sausage so we need to make some more sausage too many transporters here. We need to upgrade that. We don't have the brick for that yet, but we do have some sausage over here. Great, we've constructed a ship. So we have a transporter here. Now, do we have a surplus in sausage, a surplus in pigs? I think we do. No, we do not. So we need more pigs. It's gonna be a one-to-one. -one. So we can build this pig farm here, and then we can build another slaughterhouse. Do we have space? Where should we put the slaughterhouse? Right here would be good. We want to keep this area open. There we go. So that should be better. Now, we don't have enough workers for that. So it's this whole process again. We need to build some more farming houses so we can upgrade everybody else's housing. Now, there's a couple things we could probably pause. We don't need the ships, uh, we don't need the sails just the moment. We can go ahead and pause that so we can make sure that everybody else is running at full capacity. Now, a couple of these guys we need to, oh, no warehouse in range. Ah, it's because it is turned around the wrong way. Let's change that. Pick it up. And just rotate that around. There we go. Great. So now we have one ship, we can actually start sending brick out to the far island here. So here's our schooner, the Magnificent. Let's set a trade route out. It'll go from Port Jolie to North Cape. And in Port Jolie, it'll pick up some brick. We don't need all that many. And this is one of those things that's gonna run constantly. We don't really have any need for anything right now. So we'll drop that off and let's just set that in motion. And now we have enough workers to, oh, nope. <laughs> Was not, not, yeah. Still getting uh, used to a couple of things here. 
trying to make sure I'm not selecting the ship and then make a right click. Let's upgrade some of these workers houses here. Now, there are certain numbers we get to, we need to get to to unlock the next level. And I know there's an easy way to do this, but I honestly, I always lose where I'm supposed to do this. Upgrade to artisans at the next population level. And again, I don't know what that population level is supposed to be. I know it shows on here. And I'm completely unclear as to... Oh, I think we just click on the houses. Here we go. Happiness. Okay, so they need more beer. And they need that school. So let's, let's plant out a place for the school. The school could go right here. Probably somewhere in the middle. Won't fit there. There we go. And we need more beer. So we can actually build the second brewery here. Now we need more workers for that. So now we can upgrade a couple of these uh, houses. There we go. So that should work. That should get it right to equilibrium. Let's take a look. So we should be good right now. Everything's running at 100% capacity and we're making enough for what we need, which is perfect. We're actually overproducing fish and schnapps, but that's okay. Now we need more workers, but we need to build uh, we need to upgrade some of these houses in order to do that. So what is the thing that we can do right now? We could turn one of these furnaces off. Or the steelworks, rather. Where's the furnace? Weapon factory furnace. Now we could pause one of the furnaces. We have enough steel ingots. And now we have enough workers to keep all of that coming along quite well. Now, again, I know there's an easy way to look... Oh, what's this? Huh. Type progress. Oh, that's a different view. Okay, so now we have another ship. Let's take a look at the trade routes. I know we could probably set... We do have an alliance here with Cloud River. So they need beer, bread, sausages, and soap. They want coal. Okay. I don't know why it's not letting me hover over this island, but okay, so Cloud River needs... Oh, I kind of like that insignia. That's really cool. The, the koi, it looks like. So they need beer, bread, sausages, and soap. Now... And then Wormways Prison needs soap and potatoes. Now, what do we have here in excess? Let's take a look. So we have an ex uh, a surplus of grain... We have a surplus of soap, so let's go ahead and trade between here and Cloud River. Now, Porjali could pick up some soap. Not 50, let's say maybe 10. And then drop it off at Cloud River. Now, it's not one of those things that's an exact science. We don't know exactly how much is... Oh no, Schnapps Distillery in Porjali again. Another explosion. These guys are kind of prone to that, aren't they? Ugh, okay. Let's send the fire division out. Fire brigade should be out there. We do need to upgrade some of these warehouses, but we need the brick for it. Okay, and now we have enough workers. Let's, re, uh, let's restart this furnace here. There we go. Now here in Green Isle we have a bunch of workers. What do we what do we have going on here? So it's in a good kind of equilibrium. We could be producing more hops. So let's produce more hops. And we can start building the city out as well. We can have a blueprint. Let's make sure everything's in blueprint mode. And copy this. And let's leave a little bit of a gap here. Maybe... There we go. 
something along those lines. And then this was a mistake from earlier. So let's demolish a couple of those and then build a farming residence. So we'll have a nice kind of cross right going on here. Oh, that is not the right. There we go. Oh, wrong button. Sorry. There we go. Let's get back here. There we go, next population level. Ah, you just need to hover. Okay, so now Port Jolie has fought that fire. Let's zoom back in and rebuild the Schnapps Distillery. Those things seem really prone to, uh, prone to explosions. Now here, next population upgrade to artisans. So this thing is that we don't actually need, we have enough workers. Now if we upgrade the artisans, we can do that. How many, okay, so we need 25 brick for that school. That's what we really need. And we also need more sausage. They're still not getting the sausage supply that they need. Probably build another pig farm here. Let's just copy this. And we can rotate that. Delivery quest. Eh, sure. Pick up an Omera's lighthouse. None of your business. None your business. Let's see. Where is... Let's send this schooner over here. The Magnificent. Steersman. It's carrying bricks from Port Jolie to North Cape, but we're not really doing anything too much here anyway, so I'm not too worried about that. North Cape is doing just fine. Let's build a fire station here. It's kind of like a sleepy little town here. What else do they need? Oh, that's right. They need sheep. They need uh, clothes. So the thing is, is that we could probably start a regular route between North Cape and there that includes things like, uh, like clothing, because we are overproducing here, not by a whole lot. It probably would be good for them to have at least a couple of places to produce some of the, what they need. So we could probably do that up here. Uh, there's another beachhead here. This looks like it would be a kind of a, a mining area, so let's just extend the road out here. And, oh, that's not necessary. Let's demolish that here. Oh, and we demolish that as well. Okay. So, now we can build a couple of these things in blueprint mode. Let's build some work clothes factories. A couple of sheep farms here would be good. End of the road here would be good. And this is a nice, simple building to build. Let's get this dirt road out. Okay. Now, this is one of those things that it would be nice to see what we need to do. So, we need consumption here. Let's uh, let's toy around with this a little bit. Let's edit this. So, let's say hypnosis. Happiness plus five. And, I mean, we have that. This is something that the edit cost. This refund, like, so... Really, when it comes down to it, unless I'm thinking about offending somebody by using propaganda, it's not really that big of a deal because this gets uh, given back to us. So it's not like we have a set amount. It just refunds at the end of publishing. Now let's take this and just copy this out here. Rotate a couple of these here. An influence bonus. There we go. Those influence bonuses. Those are the things that I just wasn't too aware of using earlier on in the game. Turns out it's totally legit. And there's no reason to think that, you know, it, there's a penalty of any sort. I mean, it just depends on who you're trying to, to woo, right? If you have a character who doesn't like the fact that you're using that, then obviously that's going to be an issue. But other than that, there isn't really a problem. It's actually kind of encouraged by the game to use it um, wisely. You do get influence bonuses that increase with time. Let's uh, build another one of these here and just blueprint that out. So now we have all this stuff. Let's go ahead and build a small warehouse, the sheep farm, and the framework knitters. And then we can build some of these houses up here as well. There we go. Now they're a village. Voila.
Now, I think we have one of our ships out over by where it's supposed to be for that quest. Let's take a look. Just about. Oh, what? Nope. Stop. Stop your route. I wanted you to go fulfill the quest point. You're not paying attention. Where's the... Ah. There we go. I don't want it to keep going on that trade route, though. Is it still doing the thing? I told it to stop. This is the thing I don't quite understand. It's supposed to... Uh, stop it. Stop. Stop the trade route. I want you to go over here. That's usually not that big of a deal. I don't know why it's deciding to be obstinate right now. It's going in the completely wrong direction. Where is it going? Go to where I'm telling you. Okay. Now go over here. Oh, wait. No. Where is that ship? Oh, it is going in the right direction. Oh, my goodness. I thought I would have to go over here. Wow. Obviously, I was not paying attention. There we go. So it should pick that up straight away. Now we're here in Porjoli. We've reached a nice kind of equilibrium here. Let's see if we can upgrade the downtown. That's right, we can build a school now. And so now our workers can be upgraded to artisans. Let's build this road across here. Oop, that's not it. Make it nice and neat. There we go. Delivered a clipper. Where is the clipper? Okay, well, I'm going to be sending it off into the unknown here, apparently. Contraband goods. So now we can upgrade here, and then we can finally start the quest. Let's upgrade this unit right here, right next to everything. Ah, can we not? Do they have everything they need? They do. There we go, now we have artisans. Voila! Age of Fine Craftsmanship. Now, we're going to have to build a bunch of this stuff. Now we have a bunch of things we need. Canned food being one of them. So now, for the artisan tree, we need to build windows. Oh, there we go. Now we have expeditions. Fantastic. Let's assign a ship. We don't have a ship that's available just yet. But once this quest is done, we'll assign an another one. Actually, can we build? We can build a frigate. Let's just build a frigate because we can. And that frigate will be the one taking on that new exploration quest. We'll be able to unlock the new world. So North Cape is going to have to start getting down to business here because they have the red pepper fertility that we need to build canned food. Down here, we're going to build a... Um, glass making facility because we have this stretch of land out here so we're going to need to build a sand mine that looks perfect right there brilliant let's build that road out here and we're going to need five gold or five five brick and so now we have that that is not going to require artisans it just requires workers and now that we have this we have a lumberjack hub because we need the wood but we also need to make a glass maker so the glass maker can go right here. There's no reason why it should be so far away. So we'll go ahead and put it right here. And that is going to need brick as well. And once we do that, we can have a window maker and we need the artisans to do that. But we'll put this all the way over on this side of the island. So everything will be set up to make glass right here. We're going to upgrade these transporters. We're probably going to need maybe another warehouse. But for right now, it looks like it's going well. We're building another frigate here or the first frigate we're going to have. Now, our other ship, where is this going? It's supposed to go to Nunya Business. Deliver to Clipper. Wait, 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 which Clipper? Nope, nope, wrong screen. Come back to the old world, thank you very much. Now, it's going over here. 
I'm not sure where exactly it's supposed to be going to, but it's going to the Fog of War part of the map. Not sure if it's, it's supposed to go to another clipper somewhere that I just don't see. Don't think so, though. I think we're actually supposed to be going where we're supposed to go, which is out to the middle of nowhere. Just to the edge of the, the map right here. Pretty sure... 10 tons of Nunya business down over here somewhere in this great mass of fog and cloud. Will the delivery point please reveal itself? There it is. So it turns out so far we haven't really had to worry about too many pirates. That's definitely going to change though. That's just how the game works. Heard a whisper you took care of. And there we go. Then you're as good as your word. Now let's re up this route here. Perfect. And we're still building our first frigate. Now we can start planning for the artisans town hall canned food production chain. So now we need to build red pepper farms. We're gonna have that up here. North Cape is going to specialize in red pepper farms. So let's start focusing on what we can do here. We'll probably start over here, honestly. And they have a little bit of a space for sausage as well. So let's leave a little bit of that here. But really, this is supposed to be one of those islands where its primary good, its primary purpose is to generate these red peppers. So we'll start right here make sure we build a road out to that oh nope that's not right <laughs> delete demolish thank you nope there we go let's go ahead and build this dirt road out here now we do have another stretch of beach here oh that was off by one and that's gonna annoy me so let's take it from here there we go eh, nope that's not it either There we go. Not a perfectionist when it comes to this. I'm not going to fill up blank spaces, but I do want things to be just so if it's at all possible and it's easy to accomplish. So let's do this. I could fill out this space right here all the way out to the edge. I have learned a great deal about trade from you. Nice. We do have an ongoing trade relationship with her, so that's nice. So let's build another red pepper farm here. Build that out as well. And keep building out to the edge. Now we could build another red pepper farm over here. I know it looks kind of haphazard, but there is a method to my madness, at least I'd like to think. A little sloppy, but that's okay. There we go. Strange looking, but it works. Now let's build that dirt road all the way up here. Now we're gonna also need uh, grain, not grain farms. We're gonna need some uh, meat. So cattle farms can go right across the way here. So this is a little bit more difficult to get just so. But this should be good. Now let's uh, build another warehouse. Oh, no. Let's build it at the end of the road here. Pretty sure this will be fine. There we go. If this... Oh, nope, that's a marketplace. That is not the right building. Demolish that. Thank you. 
thought it was a little too large for that space. Here we go. There's a warehouse. It's connected with a road. Everything's within range. Perfect. And there we go. So now we have the basic building blocks. Now we don't have the workers here. So what we can do, which is I think what we're going to do, is we're going to send this stuff on that frigate, the Magnificent, the one that already has a trade route here. So let's go into adjust this trade route. So it's going to bring brick to Port Jolie or uh, to North Cape, but it's going to load red peppers and beef. Obviously not 50 of each. We can go down to like four or five. Okay, so this is something I don't quite understand. Technically, if it unloads this, it should have two free slots. So I'm not sure. We'll take a look. I'm not sure if that's going to resolve itself, if it's an issue or not, but we'll take we'll, we'll check it out as time goes on. Now we do have a frigate. Let's send the frigate to the new world. Let's take this expedition and assign the muscle cracker. Now, do we have any items that'll help? Yes, we do have a bosun. We have a circular saw. And let's see, in terms of goods, we need food. Uh, let's pack some schnapps and sausage hops. Eh, no, soap. Soap is good. We need medicine. Diplomacy and hunting. Diplomacy, I think, yeah, beer we could use. Let's get rid of the schnapps here. So diplomacy, there we go. This should work. Going to the new world, fantastic. Set that off on its way. Now we have a bunch of workers here. Let's restart some of these industries that we've paused. Actually, did we pause all that much? Okay, let's upgrade this warehouse here. Okay, now we can actually build a couple of these things. So the glass maker but we don't have enough artisans. So let's upgrade some of these houses here to artisans. I don't know if we need brick, forget. We do need brick. I knew we could change, uh, change the appearance of these. What a time to be alive. Now there's a theater can't unlock that quite yet town hall so they need canned food so we're gonna need all of this stuff to be coming here so we can be a uh, build an artisanal kitchen we're gonna need iron as well which we do have so we can build the artisanal kitchen somewhere down here so all of these chains are gonna start working together in harmony so this is something I'm doing that's a little different. I usually keep the production of the artisanal kitchen stuff on the same island with the, the cattle and the red pepper. But I don't think we're going to need to do that. We have the ability to have a trade route that brings that back and forth. That's one of those things that I needed to get used to using was the trade routes to get basic goods from one place to the other. So on Green Isle, we have a bunch of workers that are kind of sitting idle. Are we producing at limit? Okay, so we're producing enough hops. We don't have any bread. We do have a trade route that's doing that though. So let's make sure that the bread is actually getting used. The easy way to do that, the better way of doing that actually, is to take a look at the consumption here on Green Isle. And they're getting just enough. They, they're getting what they need. Do they... They need beer, but I don't think... 
So let's make sure that ship is actually getting beer as well. Let's take a look at that trade route. So they should pick up some beer in Porto Lee, not 50, let's say maybe two right now, and drop it off at Green Isle. We might actually need to build a trade frigate and not a schooner. Let's build a frigate. We have enough resources to do so. So our third ship here, the Porcupine, okay, that's just trading soap. Now the Magnificent, where is it? Is it right here? Nope. Nope. I wish they highlighted the ship. Okay, so this is probably not going to work. Let's go ahead and take that out. They are going to need to start bringing bread there as well. So I think this will be the bread and brick ship. And then we're going to have to have another ship for... Or actually, they need schnapps. So we'll build another frigate to carry some other goods back and forth between those two islands. But for right now, we're okay. And now we can actually build some more Arzen houses. Upgrade these guys. Perfect. Now they need canned food, which obviously we can't make because we don't have the ingredients for that to the artisanal kitchen. And we also need glass anyway. So we're making glass, and so we're going to accumulate some of that glass, and then we'll be able to build the artisanal kitchen. Or we need to build the window makers first. So we need more brick. So that's again one of those things that's going to take some time to make. Just kind of wait and see. 